In a big move, Prime Minister Narendra Modi led Union Cabinet has cleared the auction of 5G spectrum, which will be held in the end of July. A total of 72 gigahertz of spectrum with a validity period of 20 years will be put to auction. About 10 times faster than 4G, India is set to roll out the 5G services soon. Pro Khalistani slogans were scrawled on walls near Shakti Peet and Devi Talab Mandir in Jalandhar. Jalandhar police is checking the CCTV footage to find out who wrote these slogans. Suspended Bharatiya Janta Party MLAs, including leader of opposition Suvendu Adhikari, staged a protest at West Bengal Assembly in Kolkata. They were suspended by West Bengal Assembly Speaker in March 22, following a clash with TMC MLAs on the floor of the House over Birbham violence. Amid the tensions over the controversial social media post in Jammu and Kashmir, the curfew under Section 144 of CRPC continued in Badirwaha. India reported 8,822 fresh cases of COVID-19, 5,718 recoveries and 15 deaths in the last 24 hours. The active case load has increased to 53,637. Total number of tests done during the previous day was 4,40,278. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky informed in a late-night address that Ukrainian forces are suffering painful losses in fighting Russian troops in both the eastern city of Severodonetsk and the Kharkiv region. NATO Secretary-General Jens Stoltenberg said that the members of the alliance will continue to supply Ukraine with heavy weapons and long-range systems and that he expected them to agree a new package of assistance to Kyiv at the NATO summit. Brahmastra Part 1 Shiva trailer is out now. The 2 minute and 51 second clip has received a thunderous response from the audience, who are loving the chemistry of the newlyweds and going gaga over the VFX comparing it with Marvel films. India's ace javelin thrower and Olympic gold medalist Neera Chopra has once again scripted history. He has set a new national record and finished with a silver medal with a throw of 89.30 meters at the Power Nurmi Games in Finland.